Hello, Ruth here, and this is my Crafter's Companion Craft Supplies Haul, number 32, I believe. Yes. I probably should just get it out, because otherwise, it would be too shadow here. Oh, well, since you see this, might as well. Okay, what? Can you? I think I initially got the six by six, I think. But here's the uh, the the twelve by twelve sticky sticky. Where is it? Well, you you've seen the uh, six by six one I got a while ago. But yeah, all of those lovely designs. This is the uh, the Luna twelve by twelve pad. Yeah, yeah, I hadn't realized yet. This is a 180 GSM, double sided, 36 sheets, and they are not pearlized, I think. Or are they? Well, it doesn't say. So I guess it's not. Anyway, so it's this. Then we have this lovely zigzag die. So, once upon a time. Oh, well, that was pretty neat, and it cuts out a castle, horse and carriage, and some trees. It's got a couple stamps. Wishing you a magical birthday. Best friends make moments magical. To the fairest of all, happy birthday, and they lived happily ever after. Yeah, the exact scene builder. I can't remember that one. But as you probably realized from the previous one, I do have the, uh, the garden bench one. And I'm going to skip the house and the bicycle one. Don't really. Mm, don't really. Like, you know, not really my thing. Um, that's that. And, um,. I guess this is a village or church one? I haven't seen that in stock. So, I guess I'll have to skip that for now. Hopefully it'll come back in stock. So that's that one. And... Oh. Let's see. Let's read out what it's. Let's see. Gemini zigzag scene builder, second guy. Once upon a time was three pounds. The Baluna 12 by 12 with patch on sale for five ninety nine. With the other stamp, you know, the, this one was on sale. And let's see. I have a the minus metallic ink pad seven piece set. Two of them, two of which are. Not in stock, so they didn't put it in this one. And this one is a craft kit. Penny sliders. Let's see, the ink pads were 20, and the craft kit was uh, 20 as well. Though so there's a typo on my uh, packing slip, but anyway. I did pay for it. 20 and 20, I guess. It was a slight sale. One was like 20, um, 24.99? 25.99? But I, yeah. Um, <clears throat> what's it called? Um, 
Bora, não sei. I'm trying to do this with one hand, which is not ideal. Did that work? It's good enough, I guess. There we go. Penny sliders makes minimum 24 cards. Over 195 elements. It's a nice holographic on the sides. This one has the uh, number 35, which is the number of kit that is. There's the code. <coughs> Four metal dies, 24 card blanks and envelopes, 20, uh, 14 stamps, 15 colored card, 18 printed papers, which is the pattern paper, and 100 dew drops. And uh, these are. Well, I've opened two already, so you know what, what it looks like. You know, like that. I'll open this in um, when I have desk space because I can't do this with one hand. <clears throat> so that's that. Now, last but not least, is the ink pad set. So here we have the red garnet metallic pigment. This is the Midas series, if you hadn't realized yet. Amethyst. Platinum. Blue organza. Jade green. Rose Satin, which one? Oh, is that dirty? It shouldn't be, right? Did it leak or something? I'll have to check, because the other ones are completely clean. Bronze. <clears throat> yeah, I'll have to check. Anyway, that's a bit concerning that it looks like that. And that's the only one that looks like that. Everything else is clean. And I did pour this right on top of my bed, so hopefully this <laughs> it's okay. Because <laughs> I don't want metallic pigment on my duvet. Definitely not. It's on my hand already anyway. But yes, I'll just place that on top. And of course it falls. Anyways, excuse me. It's 
all those colors. <clears throat> Very lovely. Now, we still need to get a gold and tulip of some kind, I think it was called. Pink tulip, maybe? But obviously the gold, because that's not there. I mean, the bronze can sort of pass as gold a tiny bit, but that's bronze, not gold. <laughs> so we'll have to get the gold and the pink tulip. I think it's pink tulip. Let me just double check, because I do have a list. <clears throat> I did make a list. <laughs> uh, pink lace is what it's called. Tulip is from a different set. Yeah, pink tulip is part of the water reactive and quick dry and the other pigment set. I might have said, which is called a pink lace. Anyway. <laughs> yes. I need to clean, clean my hands. <clears throat> so that's this. If I remember to open this in uh, like, coming up. Hopefully I remember. If not, well, I've got time. You should be able to remember to open this thing. Because I've still got other stuff I can upload before this. Sorry. Um, yes, I really got this because I didn't have a die that made the sliding thing, you know? And of course, I'm not going to use a penny for this. I mean, you could. It's called penny sliders. But I think I might, you know, use paper on both sides and like a thick thing of foam in the middle to, you know, thing instead of a penny. But we'll see. Anyway, that's how I, I believe that's it. If I remember to open it, I'm opening it now. Okay, I'm at my desk. So, are you over the box? Now we're just going over the sides. And... Let's just get it all out, right? The box off to the side. It's in the way. Put it in. Um, so, that's colored card and printed paper. You know what? I'm going. Mm, Well, of the previous ones that you've seen, I've uh, saved in this bit, but uh, since I already have the stickers of those, I think I have all, you know, Card blanks, two drops, metal dies, stamps, three types of card blanks. Oh, okay. We've got white. Oh nope, this is the, the pattern card. Okay, so we got two bright. Maybe that's better. Yeah, I think. So three of each. That reminds me of cheese, this one. That reminds me of Mexican food. So <laughs> I am hungry. Uh, okay, let's find for some more. Maybe take a look at the seafood. Okay. 
So those are these ones. Put them back in so they won't get damaged. So the color card. Got red, kind of pale orange, paler peach, kind of pale skin tone. That and yellow. Is this like mint green or something? I have no idea. Or teal green. I'm not so good at color names, it seems. Unless it's super, super obvious. <laughs> we'll go from biggest to smallest. I was going to ah, yes, there's three types of envelopes. Smaller bigger biggest. Um, and that's a six by six. Five by seven. Or something by six? Nope. Or something by yeah, six. Five by six. Okay. That's the measurements of the envelopes. card blanks this would be the six by six five by seven and four by six is that eight five or eight six seven I don't know um that's clear stamps now well, I just open these faster and fill in with it later let's fill with it now well, dew drops are the same. As the other two times, which is nice. So I don't have to buy extra dew drops. Very nice. Turn on this. It's a unicorn, dolphin, and mouse. With the, uh, the penny slider die there. And three stamps. Alright. Put it on the back here. I got a very happy little mouse. Dolphin, unicorn, some. Air bubbles, hearts, fish, coral, cupcake, rainbow, sprinkles, and let's see, you deserve a treat, wishing you such a happy day, oh, that's something new. I believe in you, and wishing you oceans of joy, that's a nice stamp set, very young. Know, Various, yeah. Anyway, yes, that is in, that was inside the penny sliders craft kit box. Hopefully, if I actually oh, oh, pointed the camera down there. Right. Yes, I mainly got this because I don't have a die that does this, so I thought that'd be useful. And I think it is. Anyway, let's see, I'll have to. Anyway, I'm 
just randomly thinking of something else. Okay, so that's it. But otherwise, thank you for watching. Over.